During the interwar period, Surrey Flying Services of Croydon Airport, London, operated a large fleet of aircraft, mostly Avro 504s, for charter, flying instruction, aerial photography and joyrides. In 1928, the directors of Surrey Flying Services decided to venture into aircraft manufacture and engaged the services of John Boucher. Boucher was assistant to the chief designer at Vickers Aviation, Rex Pearson, but he also carried out freelance work on his own. He had previously designed the Missile Thrush biplane for the Adelstone Navigation and Engineering Company. Boucher's design for Surrey Flying Services was a simple biplane with side-by-side -side cockpit configuration. Construction was entirely conventional, wings with spruce spars and spruce and plywood ribs, and a wooden fuselage with ash longerons and internal wire bracing. The engine fitted was a 95 horsepower seven-cylinder Samson 7AC. The aircraft was completed in early 1929 and was well received by the aviation press. They liked the well-upholstered cockpit with dual controls and the generous luggage space behind. It was also an attractive aircraft. Plans were made to put the aircraft into production. It was proposed the production aircraft would not have the expensive Samson radial, but instead be fitted with a locally manufactured Cirrus engine that was used in several contemporary aircraft. Unfortunately, financial troubles meant no production took place and the prototype was stored away until 1936, when it was advertised in Flight magazine for £65. In May 1938, it was sold to Bertram Arden, a farmer from Exeter, and he flew the aircraft until the outbreak of the Second World War. The first field Arden used was just to the north of Quarry Lane. In fact, he shared it with the local school as playing fields. After the Second World War, Arden moved to a new flying location, immediately to the south of Quarry Lane, adjacent to the old. This became known as Exeter Bypass Airfield. You can see the bypass on the left of the picture. It was completed shortly before the outbreak of the Second World War. The Surrey AL-1 biplane was stored away in the hangar. Arden formed the Devonshire Flying Club, with a ragtag collection of BA Swallows, a Taylor Craft and an Oster 5. Flying continued throughout the 1950s, but with Suburban Exeter getting ever closer, the airfield closed around 1960. The solitary hangar, containing several aircraft, remained for many years after, securely locked to the frustration of many enthusiasts. These photographs were taken in 1971, with the permission of Bertram Arden. Over the years, several enthusiasts tried to buy the Surrey AL-1, but a price could never be agreed, and they came away empty-handed. This BA Swallow, still in its Second World War markings, as used for radar and glider trials, was eventually sold. It was in fairly parlous condition, but subsequently flew again at Shobden. Today the airfield site and the hangar also known as Arden's Barn, is long gone. The four remaining aircraft, that is, the Surrey AL-1, two BA Swallows and an Oster 5, remain in Arden family ownership and are stored away somewhere in the Exeter area. Maybe one day we'll see them again. Thank you for watching. 